Hello everyone, welcome to day five. This practice is literally a big old hug. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, my sweet friends, let's begin in a comfortable seat. Maybe sit up on a blanket or a block to find a little length in the spine. Thank you so much for coming back and practicing with me and with Benji, who clearly brought a toy to class today. <laughs> Roll with it. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze. And we're gonna drop right in, allowing the shoulders to relax, reaching the fingertips forward. Cross your right arm over your left, and then just keep that movement going. You're gonna wrap your arms around yourself, starting today's practice, but of course, with a hug. So as you Quite literally, wrap your arms around yourself. Close your eyes or soften that gaze. Tuck the chin slightly to feel a lengthening in the back of the neck. And in this shape, start to deepen your breath. And if you're open to it, you know, we kind of agreed to come here with an open mind, at least I think. If you're open to it, consider what it feels like here to feel your own embrace. What is that sensation to try to feel your own embrace? And this journey is really about absorbing your own care for yourself. And acknowledging how powerful that can be. And at the very least, we're sitting up tall. We're in this shape using this kind of bind, this hug to feel the breath move us. So you can start to breathe a little deeper, maybe inhaling more deeply and exhaling more completely nice and slow. Now let's take a deep cycle of breath together. So here we go. Big inhale in through the nose. Feel that expansion, the chest lifts. And as you exhale, you can release the embrace. Send the fingertips and the arms out wide. And just open your heart space here. Spread the fingertips. Good, relax the shoulders and then we're just gonna take it to the other side. So fingertips go forward. This time left arm crosses over the top and we find this hug. You can really try to inch your fingertips towards the center of your back and lift your chest up, chest up so we're not collapsed in the spine here but we're Nice and active. And close your eyes again and continue to gently deepen your breath and just feel your own care for yourself here, this symbolic beginning to our day five practice. Feeling the rise and the fall of your breath. And then let's inhale once again together. So inhaling in through the nostrils. And slowly exhaling out through the mouth or the nose, your choice, and releasing once again, this time bringing the fingertips all the way to the earth, but palms facing forward. Great, loop one shoulder 
than the other, drawing the shoulder blades together and allowing them to just kind of imagine them melting down towards your hips. So we're creating more spaciousness between the ear and the shoulder. And then keeping the palms forward, nice and slow, we're just gonna take a big stretch, reaching fingertips all the way up towards the sky, palms forward. And see if you can really lengthen up and out of the waist. So out of the side body, front body lifted, back body's grounded, the shoulder blades melting down. And say one kind thing to yourself, just a little caring thing like, you know what, you're pretty awesome, or you know what, you're good at math, or you have an open heart, or you're awesome for doing this yoga practice. I'll stop giving examples and just allow you a little time and space to find one thing, one nice thing to say to yourself. And inhale, reach a little higher, reach, 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 as if you were trying to tickle a cloud. <laughs> so dumb, sorry, but wiggle the fingertips. And then exhale, release everything down. Now, if it was challenging to come up with something nice to say to yourself, you're not alone. It's all good. It's just all a part of the practice. All right, let's boogie on forward to all fours. Spread the fingertips wide. Take a second here to just find some soft, easy movement. Maybe taking a cat-cow or bumping the hips a little side to side. Or, new vocabulary item, we can take the rib cage in a few circles here, bending the elbows to drop the rib cage, and then coming up through that cat pose. So just a little variation today. Warming up through the spine, engaging the core muscles, and continuing to honor your heart's song by deepening the breath. And take a couple more moments to even out whatever you're doing, maybe reverse the circle. And then bring it back to neutral tabletop position, walk the hands forward Upper arm bones are gonna rotate out. So we're kind of rotating the upper arm bones and then the, the forearms kind of hug in. So there's a spiral going on. We curl the toes under and we peel up through the tailbone today, nice and slow, downward facing dog. Now hug your low ribs in here as you bend your knees. Relax through the neck, breathe. Press firmly through your knuckles. Continue to breathe deep as you hug the low ribs in and feel that core connection, abs turn on here. Then you can start to drop the heels a bit more. Maybe take a couple moments to pedal the feet if that feels good. And then we're gonna bend the knees, inhale, look forward, and we're all gonna take baby steps today. Baby steps, <clears throat> excuse me, to the top of the mat. Really stretching through the fascia of the foot. Maybe crisscrossing the legs if that feels good. Getting a nice little stretch through the calf and the IT band. And then we're gonna come to the top of the mat, feet together or hip width apart. So your choice. Nice conscious footing is all that matters here. Let's get the toes pointing forward. Now bend your knees, let it all hang here for a breath in. And a long breath out. Draw the hands to the waistline, shoulder blades together. Lift the kneecaps slightly to kind of hug the muscles of the quads to the bone. And we're gonna rise up on an exhale. So let's breathe in together. And exhale, root through the feet, draw the navel to the spine, and let's rise up strong to standing. Stand nice and tall. Try not to fidget too much here. Lift the chest, draw the elbows back, lengthen through the crown of the head. 
Inhale in, exhale, bend the knees, send the fingertips forward, hug those low ribs in here, chair pose. Stay here, inhale, look forward, exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. Sink a little lower. Think about hugging muscle to bone here to find that support, to root down through the, the floor and hug the low ribs in, drawing energy up from the earth. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, airplane arms. Reinforce that core connection. Inhale, reach forward. Maybe sink a little lower. This is the last one. Exhale, navel draws up and in, fingertips back. Sweet, then release it all. Uttanasana, forward fold. Nice, shake the head, head a little yes, and a little no. Great, bend your knees, walk the fingertips over to the left, feel nice opening through the left side waist. And then over to the right, knees stay bent, feel a nice stretch in the left side waist. Lovely, and then come all the way back to center. We're gonna plant the palms, step one foot back and then the other for plank pose. Feel free to lower the knees here to start. We're gonna focus on hugging those low ribs in again to engage the muscles of the core. So you can be with the knees lifted or lowered. We're gonna hug those low ribs in, dome through the upper back body. Try to create a straight line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Now think about hugging your hip points in and up just a bit to engage the low abs, your transverse abdominus. Feel that core connection here for three. Breathe deep. Two, press away from the yoga mat. Reach the heels back and one. Everyone lower the knees, bend the elbows. Keep them hugging into the body as you slowly lower down to the earth. Keep squeezing the legs together here. We're gonna draw the hands back in line with the rib cage. Hug the elbows into the side body. Press into your pubic bone and inhale, lift up baby cobra. Think about keeping a nice extension, again, from the crown to the tail. Good, then from here, we're gonna send the left fingertips back, airplane arms, and right fingertips back, airplane arms. Keep squeezing the legs together, pressing down through the pubic bone. And then if you've been practicing a while, a little grace note is think about even hugging the low ribs in here. It's hard, I know. Sweet, and then let's slowly release. Press up to all fours, just all fours. Good, then curl the toes under and peel the hips up, send them high and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Notice if those low ribs are just splaying forward or if you can hug them in slightly. So when you draw the lower rib cage in, you can feel this drawing in of the low abs, everything kind of cinching in towards the center of the body. Lovely, anchor the left heel, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, slowly shift forward, hug that right knee in towards your chest. Good, kick it back out. Three-legged dog. Exhale, hug the right knee over towards the right elbow, shift forward. Inhale, press into the palms, reach it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, hug it in. Good, inhale, three-legged dog. This time take it all the way through to your nice low lunge. Pull the right hip crease back, loop the shoulders, find an openness in the chest here. Open up through the throat. Always an option to lower that back knee. Breathe deep, inhale in. Exhale, plant the left palm, inhale, Reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. The hugging here is of the right knee in, so it's gonna to wanna to splay out. In order to really hug that right knee in, press into the ball joint of the right big toe. Yeah, then wiggle the right fingertips, breathe in, open your heart towards the sky, and then exhale. Let's bring it all the way back. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, plank or half plank. Breathe deep here, three breaths. Each cycle of breath, you have an opportunity to kind of adapt or play, stay curious about your position, your shape, and the sensation that comes from each adjustment. So trying to find that stability and build that strength from within. All right, lower the knees, squeeze the elbows in, and slowly lower down. 
Keep squeezing the legs together. Inhale, we lift up, send the fingertips back, a little Shalambhasana variation, finding extension from the crown to the tail. Tuck the chin slightly, maybe to find that, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale in here, listen carefully, exhale, option to lift the legs just for a breath, just an option. And then release everything, forehead kisses the mat. Press up just to all fours. Inhale in, curl the toes under and exhale, peeling the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Reset, inhale in deeply. Exhale, completely finding that drawing in of the low abs, that hugging of the rib cage. In, and here we go, right heel anchors down. We press into both palms evenly to start. Then keep pressing into your left palm as you inhale, lift the left leg up high. Good, exhale, shift it forward, hug the left knee in towards the chest, upper body's in plank. Good, send it back with the breath, inhale. Exhale, left knee hugs to left elbow, upper body's in plank, squeeze and lift. Good, inhale, send it back, drop through the right heel. Last one, cross it over, here we go, left knee to right elbow, squeeze and lift. Good, inhale, send it back. On your exhale, nice and slow and with control, step that left foot up. If the foot never makes it to the top, you know, you can just enjoy your own care of bringing it up with an extra hand. All right, nice low lunge, back knees lifted unless you intentionally choose to lower it. Pull the left hip crease back, open up through the chest. Breathe in, breathe out, plant the right hand to the earth, pull the left hip crease back, and there's this hugging, this lifting up of the pelvic floor as we open into this twist, left fingertips to the sky, hugging that left knee into center. So everything's kind of hugging into the midline in the lower body as the upper body spirals towards the sky. Good, reach the right heel back, inhale, wiggle the fingertips, lengthen through the crown of the head, and exhale, take it back down. Plant the palms, step the left toes back, press away from your yoga mat. Now let's try everyone lifting the knees here, sending the heels back, inhale to press away from the yoga mat. So we're working really strong to build strength in the midline here. And we're gonna hug the right knee in, and then send it back, claw through the fingertips, left knee in, and send it back. Right knee to left elbow, hug it in, send it back, breathe. Left knee to right elbow, hug it in, send it back. That's it, send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply, and on your exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Shake the head a little yes, a little no. Mm. Then bend the knees, look forward, and we're gonna walk slowly back up to the top of the mat, maybe crossing the feet again, stretching as we stroll to the top, feet together, really together. Squeeze the arches together, squeeze the legs. Back to that chair, we got this. Bend the knees, inhale, send the fingertips forward, sit back, way back. Exhale, send the fingertips back. Good, inhale, reach forward, sink a little lower. Exhale, reach back. Last time, inhale, reach, and exhale, airplane arms. Option here to maybe lift the heels for just a moment. Flying here. And we'll do more of that later. Drop the heels, inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, forward fold all the way back down, nice and slow. Lovely, from here, bend the knees, plant the palms, step one foot back, then the other. One final plank, but only for a breath, I promise, as we then lower the knees and come into a yogic squat. So you're gonna walk the knees, as wide as your yoga mat, big toes together, and then we're gonna walk the hands back so we're starting in this little froggy shape so the toes are together. You can work here, 
playing, or you can walk the feet out playing, or we'll work to drop the heels onto a blanket or to the earth, bring the palms together, toes turned out. And this is where we'll practice hugging the knees into the arms and pressing the arms into the legs. So there is this, this opposition here that can be really powerful as we build strength and of course, increase our flexibility. Any variation that you're playing with right now, think about lifting up from the pelvic floor. And again, we're either toes together, knees wide, heels lifted, toes wide, heels lifted, or we can drop the heels, toes turned out, play in this malasana variation. Just wanna give you a second to play and notice like the hugging really is kind of an uplifting sensation. Again, this idea that we get the opportunity to defy gravity in yoga, I mean, come on, I'll take it. Some people are at work right now, we're like defying gravity in a, in a squat. It's like, okay, the primal taste is over. We're gonna release that and we're gonna slowly have options here. You can come onto your knees and then swing the legs around to one side or you can come through to a seat. It just really kind of depends on your bod. We'll all meet here with the knees up. All right, loop the shoulders. We're gonna send the left leg out and here comes another hug. You're gonna bring your right knee in towards the chest. Your left hand's gonna come to the arch of your right foot. This is the place to start. Now notice how it's very natural that we wanna collapse here. So let's put our tools to practice, lifting up here through the spine. Again, sitting on a blanket or a block here could be really awesome. Flex your left foot. You're gonna hug your right leg in here. Bring your right elbow to cradle your right knee. So I call this the leg baby. And so you have your baby here and you're gonna rock it a little bit side to side. So this is option one, sitting up tall. Whoo, really feeling the sensation in that hip joint. Another option is to bring the right foot to the left elbow crease. Now, if you're not able to sit up tall here, I would recommend sitting, sitting on a prop or maybe just saving that for another rainy day and staying here for now. Lifting up, it helps to engage the muscles of the core here, so drawing the navel in and up. You can rock it a little side to side or very mindfully front to back. And I always feel very tempted to sing to the tune of Broadway Baby here but I'll spare you today. You'll have to come through the library <laughs> for that number. Okay, and then we're just gonna gently release, extend the right leg out long. Let's come through to just a moment of stabilization through Dandasana. Fingertips or palms to the earth, flex the feet towards your face, sit up nice and tall, stick pose or staff pose. Sweet, and then let's take it to the other side. Bend the left knee. Capture your left arch with your right hand. Hug that elbow around the knee and then let's take this one for a little rock. Again, option to bring the right elbow to the left arch instead and play here. Left to right, front to back, really mindful, really slow, hopefully really juicy. And then we'll slowly release, point the toes, maybe inch towards the front of your mat a bit, point the toes, squeeze the legs together, send the fingertips forward. Let's take steeple grip today. So it's that Charlie's Angels. Hey buddy, point the toes, point the finger, the index fingers, and let's slowly, imagine you have sandbag on your shins, slowly roll down one vertebra at a time, draw the navel in, in, in. So. Engage the muscles of the low abs as slow as you can go all the way down. And then when you release the weight of your head and your shoulders to the mat, hug the right knee into the chest. Take it across the body for a little twist. Breathe in and breathe out. Release it, come back to center. 
Shift the hips, hug the left knee into the chest. And take it on over to the right for a little twist. Oh yeah. I wonder if the mic is picking up. Benji's panting right now. <laughs> it's a little interesting soundscape for our practice, but that is kind of what the home yoga practice is all about. Embracing the sights and the sounds of your present day surroundings. Okay, unravel if you haven't already. Let's hug both knees into the chest. Massage the low back by rocking a little side to side. Our final hug. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Truly, you are my hero for being here day five. Tomorrow is a short and fiery practice, a 30-day yoga tradition on day six. If you're new to the journey, you'll, you'll discover what it's all about tomorrow. To release, I'm gonna invite us all to allow the soles of the feet to drop to the mat with a little bit of force, a thud, just allow them to fall with their weight. And then extend one leg and then the other. Good, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, inhale in, and exhale, perfectly in sync with Benji's sigh. I'll take it. Slowly remembering that how you move matters. How you move has everything to do with how you end up feeling right in the movement, in the process on the journey. So just pay attention to how you bring the palms together. Maybe it's with love or with reverence or there's just more awareness and then bring the hands to the forehead. Let's close this baby up with a final breath in and out. Thanks everyone. Love you so much. Hasta mañana.